Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we're going to share some tips and tricks and some new features of the new Mi Band 6. So I have been using the Mi Band 6 for last uh, more than a week or so and uh, we have already done our review of the Mi Band 6 which is uh, a really good uh, fitness tracker in the affordable or the budget segment. Now Mi Band 6 also comes with a lot of new features including SpO2 measurement, then uh, sleep uh, breathing uh, quality and a host of other features including uh, bigger display and uh, better tracking so there are a lot of features included with the Mi Band 6 and you also get a lot of customization options uh, for the Mi Band 6 so uh, in this video we'll be talking about some of the features uh, you can try the tips and tricks and some of the features of the Mi Band 6 so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so we have the Mi Band 6 right now and we'll uh, talk about some of the tips and tricks and also the new features of this uh, device. Now when you're using the Mi Band, uh, uh, if you are using especially in the night and you want to quickly turn off the display, just place the finger on the display and it will turn off the display. So it's a very useful feature, you can see that just placing the finger on the display turns off the display. This is very useful when you're using uh, in an extremely dark condition and uh, you want to quickly turn off the display, you can just place the finger and it will turn off the display. So one of the new features with the Mi Band uh, 6 is the SpO2, that's a blood oxygen level and you can actually measure the blood oxygen level. Like you have to wear the band tightly and uh, press this and it will actually measure the blood oxygen level in uh, on the body and uh, this very useful feature especially in the covid uh, pandemic uh, situation this very useful feature so that's how you measure the uh, spo2 now you can actually uh, change the watch face by pressing and holding the uh, home screen you can see that uh, there are few uh, watch faces available so you can select this and there are also custom watch faces uh, that will uh, show you now for each watch face uh, which uh, there is an option to customize so you can see that there is a settings icon here just tap on this and you can actually customize the current uh, watch face and whatever you want to change you can change it and once you're done you can see that use this watch face um, if you press the uh, yes then uh, this new customized watch face will be in action if you don't want to uh, and go we want to go back to the older one just tap on it and it will go back to the older one so this is how we can customize each of the watch face uh, or rather the predefined watch faces available you can also create a custom watch face that i'll show you later so then uh, going to the settings uh, uh, or other status so you can see the status now it will show the uh, the distance calories uh, and ideal alert all those things can be uh, seen here now if you just swipe up you can see that uh, you get for the seven day period this is very useful because you don't have to connect to the app to see your previous seven day uh, steps record you can actually see it from the uh, device itself just you have to scroll down similarly for uh, uh, heart rate also you can see that if you just scroll down you can see that relaxed light intensity all detailed values are available here the next uh, is uh, the uh, sleep tracking so you can see that uh, this will show you the sleep tracking uh, the time at which you uh, uh, fall asleep then uh, woke up then again uh, you can see that uh, the last uh, seven day details is also included here so that's uh, how uh, this uh, works now uh, this device has uh, 30 plus workout mode so that's one of the upgrades uh, with this uh, device now uh, of the 30 workout mode 6 uh, you can do auto detecting so go to the settings and uh, you can uh, scroll down and uh, just once again you can see here detect activity option is there just tap on the detect activity so you can see that uh, this will uh, actually show up uh, what all activity you can see that here there you go you can see here walking running cycling uh, elliptical and uh, uh, you can see here rowing machine so these are the ones available uh, for auto detect mode and you can actually select which one you want and uh, for that activity if you start that it will automatically detect and uh, count the uh, values so that's one uh, useful feature this auto detecting is not enabled by default if you want to turn it on just go to settings and uh, enable this feature so that's uh, one uh, useful feature with uh, uh, this option now uh, this device does not ha have an ambient light sensor so we, we have to increase or decrease the brightness whenever you need a, a higher brightness you have to go here and increase the brightness uh, similarly there is a uh, lock screen option that is when you uh, remove the uh, mi band from your uh, wrist it will actually lock the mi band with a password you can do it from the mi fit app then uh, you can see the screen timeout option you can uh, uh, set the timer 
uh, so there you go you can see here uh, that number of seconds uh, before the screen turns off you can set this you can also go with the default mode so all these features once you enable will uh, take up more battery that you have to take care because uh, uh, the more uh, features you add the more the battery consumption is now next uh, let's uh, once again go to the settings here you can see that uh, there is a camera uh, option so we'll just uh, talk about this camera option once uh, so this is the camera uh, shutter and what you need to do is just uh, pair uh, your uh, band uh, to uh, uh, the phone uh, using the app and once uh, the band is uh, paired now it will actually allow you to uh, use the camera so we'll just uh, show you so we have the camera application let's just take the camera and uh, say I just uh, have the camera application with me and I uh, can see that this is uh, the camera and I'll just take a capture so you can see here I just taken a capture so there you go this is how you can take so you can see here I can just press on it and capture the uh, um, photo so this is kind of remove shutter so if you want to uh, use this as a shutter you can do that so this is very useful feature now there is also music playback option so if we just swipe uh, from the uh, left side you can see that the uh, music control is there so uh, whatever music uh, uh, you're playing on uh, the device uh, will be available here so we'll just uh, show you this option as well so you can control uh, from your smart uh, i mean uh, control the songs from your smartphone so once uh, this starts playing you can see here this is now playing you can pause it you can go to the next track or previous track so music control is also available on this device now here you can actually change the design uh, uh, if you see here this is the home screen on the right we have the weather and on the left uh, we have the music control so these are the two options now you can actually customize this now these things uh, are done uh, using the app uh, we will show you that app features so this is the app uh, you can see that i have just paired it and uh, here uh, there are lots of things uh, you can customize so if you go to the profile you select the mi band 6 now here we have the store so selecting this uh, store uh, uh, we we'll just uh, need to connect to the internet and if you refresh this uh, uh, you can actually see that uh, the custom watch face is available so you can just uh, click on any of the watch face and apply that now there is also option of custom watch face so just uh, swiping this these are custom dials so just select this and you can actually select uh, any image uh, from the background say for example i'm just selecting this and click ok you can see i have selected a custom watch face you can uh, change the colors and uh, you can see here multicolored you can go with uh, so once you're done uh, you can just uh, sync the watch face and this will be available in your uh, mi band uh, 6 so this is the custom uh, watch face option available now notifications you can uh, allow notification for incoming calls then uh, you can uh, see that there is idle alert incoming sms incoming emails goals now app notifications you can see here all the app not no, apps are available for notification now if you turn on uh, these uh, notification obviously the battery consumption will be higher especially for whatsapp if you get a lot of whatsapp messages then uh, this will actually consume a lot more battery now in health monitoring uh, here there is an uh, all day heart rate monitoring so one minute five minute ten minute thirty minute and manual measurement so it's uh, better to go with either the 5 minute or 10 minute 1 minute is uh, really good but then it will take up a lot more battery so 5 minute or 10 minute uh, is better 30 minute would be again good if you uh, want more battery life so that's the option available you can also select um, if you don't want you can just turn it off and then there is also heart rate alert so that means uh, if your heart rate goes beyond a particular value it will alert you that uh, the heart rate is gone beyond that value so you can just select that value then active heart rate monitoring uh, you can see that the frequency uh, is automatically increased and increased uh, heart rate uh, changes will be recorded so then uh, there is uh, the sleep uh, monitoring so you can uh, enable the sleep monitoring here then quality uh, monitoring that is sleep breathing quality this is a new feature again uh, this will take up a bit more battery because it will continuously monitor your sleep uh, uh, throughout the night and uh, the breathing quality will be uh, detected and continuous stress monitoring is also included here then uh, in the band settings uh, we have the display settings so you can see that uh, what all features you want here all those things are included here so there is also flashlight uh, uh, take photo stop watch. so if you want uh, any particular feature to be available just drag and change it so uh, for example i'm just uh, dragging this so once you set uh, save click on the save option and saved now you can uh, see that uh, 
there is a flashlight included so flashlight has been added here so this is how you can change the display settings so whatever feature you want you can just add or remove from here then uh, another option is the shortcut key now this is what i was talking so if you go to the home screen uh, you can see that uh, this is the home screen now if you just swipe from the uh, right side it will take you to the weather app now if you swipe from the left it will go to the music control now these are the two options now if you want something else say for example if i want heart rate here uh, i just click on this and i also get the heart rate so similarly uh, just click save now if i select uh, you can see that heart rate is also included here so this way uh, you can actually add uh, multiple shortcuts uh, if you uh, are using a particular feature you can add shortcuts to those feature in this uh, app so that's another useful feature now band lock as i said before uh, you can see that uh, band will be locked when it is removed from the wrist so you can set a password as well then night mode is there night mode means uh, it will uh, actually turn off the br display brightness to lesser value so in the night uh, you don't need a very bright display so you can uh, uh, turn on the uh, night mode uh, based on the timing uh, level and uh, uh, once the time is reached it will go to the night mode automatically now these are the uh, workout modes available so you can configure that once again from this uh, here now there is one more feature available uh, this is uh, uh, the you can see here view more uh, this is uh, the sleep tracking so you can see here uh, sleep breathing quality now this is 96 points uh, reference values greater than 60 points you can see here uh, sleep breathing quality is something a new parameter actually it will actually um, uh, there is a relationship between uh, your sleep and your breathing levels so this is the value so you can uh, uh, you can improve the uh, sleep breathing quality some tips are also included so this is a beta uh, option but still it does give you an idea about how good your breathing is while you're sleeping so you can also measure the sleep quality and also the stress levels uh, uh, how stressed you are uh, all those things can be measured here so these are the options available in this new mi band uh, uh, 6 so mi band 6 comes with uh, really uh, great options and uh, uh, these are some of the tips and tricks you can try uh, on the mi band 6 so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day